Hello, everybody. Wishbunny121 here. Uh, nothing too serious today, just having some fun with uh, Veritasium's uh, video on the Infinite uh, Hotel uh, running out of room, which uh, it actually it can't. And uh, let's uh, let's get into why. Uh, to start with, let's just look over uh, the clip where he says that uh, it doesn't work out. But now a big bus pulls up, an infinite party bus with no seats. Instead, everyone on board is identified by their unique name, which is kind of strange. So their names all consist of only two letters, A and B, but each name is infinitely long. So someone is named A, B, B, A, 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 and so on forever. Someone else is named A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, etc. On this bus, there's a person with every possible infinite sequence of these two letters. Now, A-B-B-A-A-A-A-A, I'll, I'll call him Abba for short, he comes into the hotel to arrange the rooms. But you tell him, sorry, there's no way we can fit all of you in the hotel. And he's like, what do you mean? There's an infinite number of us, and you have an infinite number of rooms. Why won't this work? So you show him. You pull out your infinite spreadsheet again. And then you apologize to him and say, oh yeah, you're right. I forgot uh, what a binary number is. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I, I, uh, in all honesty, I still love uh, Veritasium, even though he's wrong here. And I'm going to put the uh, the rest of his answer in the in the end of this video, um, so you can see it for yourself and judge between us which one you think of which one which one of us you think is right. But uh, let's move on to the actual solution here. All right, so to start with, everyone's name is just a bunch of A's and B's in an infinite sequence or whatever. So, and it's every single possible one. So, you know, it ranges from all A's to all B's and everything in between. So, uh, you just start by telling everyone, okay, take your name and switch it into a binary number. So, A equals 1, B equals 0. That way, every single person's name will just be uh, all 1's and zeros, And it'll range from infinite 1... Uh, which is the highest number, to infinite zero, or just zero, which is the lowest number. All right, so now in step two, what we're going to have each of these people do is subtract infinite one from their name, which infinite one is the highest possible binary number. So what's this going to do? What this is going to do is actually transform uh, their name into binary numbers that go from zero to infinity. Uh, now, the reason that is is because uh, the biggest number, which there's already a guy that his name is all A's, he's going to become zero. And the guy with all Bs, his name is going to become infinite ones. And what this does is it actually it, it converts uh, a bunch of infinitely long names into just all the, the numbers starting at zero. Or now that I'm looking at this, uh, what could be an alternate, alternative version of the step, which probably is even better, is you just get rid of all the zeros before the first one. And uh, that this actually gives you the same exact set of all all binary numbers running from zero to infinity. Now, once you just have a set of all infinite numbers uh, in binary, the, the last two steps are very simple. You add one so that uh, you get a, the set of one to infinity instead of zero to infinity because there is no zero with room. And then uh, step four, you just convert this binary to decimal so you get all decimal numbers between one and infinity. So now that we've cr uh, converted this crazy... Uh, theoretical uh, bus of people with weird names into uh, just uh, your normal infinite uh, number sequence. Each person has their own discrete number uh, running from one to infinity. We can go back to uh, Veritas's video to our Veritasium's video to see uh, his solution for that problem. But now say a bus shows up that is infinitely long and it's carrying infinitely many people. You knew what to do with a finite number of people, but what do you do with infinite people? You think about it for a minute, and then come up with a plan. You tell each of your existing guests to move to the room with double their room number. So the person in room 1 moves to room 2, room 2 moves to room 4, room 3 to room 6, and so on. And now, all of the odd-numbered rooms are available. And you know there are an infinite number of odd numbers, so you can give each person on the infinite bus a unique odd-numbered room. And, of course, the way you do that's very simple. You just take each person's uh, name or the number, the number associated with their name, uh, which we calculated out to become all integers or, uh, yeah, all integers between 1 and infinity. Uh, and you just take that number, you multiply by 2 and then subtract 1. Therefore, 1 becomes 1, 2 becomes 3, 3 becomes 5, 
4 becomes 7. And basically it just turns uh, the infinite series into all the odd numbers, an infinite odd series. And my only last comment was uh, I just wanted to say that I knew this would have a, an answer um, because it doesn't actually uh, – Veritasium's uh, suggestion that there's uh, – that you can never fit in any type of infinite within an infinite uh, doesn't make any sense um, because the – I mean the very act of calculus is to take an infinite – dimensional figure with infinite dimensions of infinite infinite sides of length or whatever you can always cut it up into uh into one dimensional figures and add them all together uh, that's basically how a volume you know finding volume or finding the space within a 10 dimensional object works uh it's really really annoying and you should never take calculus three but just trust me when you say you can have an infinite number of universes each with an infinite number of large spaceships each with an infinite number of large planes with an infinite number of large buses with each with an infinite number of people and you could fit that into this hotel as well uh with that said um yeah math is uh, really annoying <laughs> Or really fun, depending on what you think. And uh, to close us out, I'll be going back to Veritasium's uh, incorrect answer, and you can judge for yourself which one of us you think got it right. All right, have a good one. See ya. And start assigning rooms to people on the bus. So you have room one, assign it to ABBA, and then room two to AB, 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 AB repeating, and you keep going, putting a different string of A's and B's beside each room number. Now here's the problem, you tell ABBA. Let's say we have a complete infinite list. I can still write down the name of a person who doesn't yet have a room. The way you do it is you take the first letter of the first name and flip it from an A to a B. Then take the second letter of the second name and flip it from a B to an A. And you keep doing this all the way down the list, and the name you write down is guaranteed to appear nowhere on that list because it won't match the first letter of the first name, or the second letter of the second name, or the third letter of the third name, it will be different from every name on the list by at least one character, the letter on the diagonal. The number of rooms in the Hilbert Hotel is infinite, sure, but it is countably infinite, meaning there are as many rooms as there are positive integers one to infinity. By contrast, the number of people on the bus is uncountably infinite. If you try to match up each one with an integer, you will still have people left over. Some infinities are bigger than others. So there's a limit to the people that you can fit 